Hey guys, what's up? Today we are going to draw a radioactive symbol inside Adobe Illustrator. I'm Kent and this is Diagraphics. So the first thing we want to do is activate the grid. So go to view, then go to show grid, then go to view again and snap to grid. After that, go to the transform panel. If it isn't open, you can go to window and select the transform panel right here. When it's open, it's down in the corner. From here, you go to this drop down menu right here and uncheck align new objects to pixel grid. This will make the drawing more precise. So now zoom in a little bit and make sure you can see six of these squares tall. So now go to the ellipse tool and while holding down the shift key, draw a circle from one of these crosshairs and the circle should be six squares tall. Then unselect the fill. Now select the line tool and from the middle of the circle, draw a straight line all the way up to the top and a little further. You can hold down the shift key to make sure it's completely straight. Then go to the rotate tool and while holding down the alt key, click on the center of the circle right here. Then type in 60 degrees and click copy. Now we want to isolate this slice of the circle. So go to the selection tool and select the entire artwork. Then go to the shape builder tool and click one time at this shape right here. Now we have created this shape and we can delete everything around it. So click the selection tool and select all the parts we don't want. With this shape left, select the shape and make it a fill instead of a stroke. Now we want to draw the middle circle of the symbol. So go to the ellipse tool and while holding down the shift key, draw a circle that is one square tall. Now while still having this circle selected, go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in back. Now we have two circles on top of each other. So go to the selection tool and while holding down the alt key and the shift key, expand the circle two notches. So one, two, and give this circle another color so we can see them both. Then select both the circles and move these circles until the middle of the circles matches the tip of the slice. Then select the entire artwork, go to the shape builder tool and while holding down the alt key to subtract from the shapes, subtract the ring. Then release the alt key to get the plus sign and fuse these two shapes together. If the color changed from black, simply just select the shape again and make it black. Now select this part of the artwork, go to the rotate tool and while holding down the alt key, go to the middle of this circle and click one time. And remember that snap to grid is enabled, so it will snap to the exact middle. Now go to this window and type in 120 degrees and click copy. And to duplicate this step, simply just click Ctrl D. As you can see right now, the icon is tilted, so we need to correct this. So select the entire artwork, go to the rotate tool and once again hold down the alt key and click in the exact middle. Then rotate the entire shape. 30 degrees and click OK. So right now if I choose one of the shapes, you can see that the bounding box is positioned a little bit weird. This is because we rotated the shape by 30 degrees. So to counter this, just select the entire artwork, go to object, go to transform and then reset the bounding box. This will make the bounding boxes straight again. So now we want to add the background and the outer ring to this symbol. And to make it look really nice, we want the outer ring and the distance to the outer ring to be the exact same amount as this ring right here. So to do this, select this circle right here, then go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in back. Now we once again have two circles on top of each other. So while having the circle selected, hold down the shift key and the alt key and expand the circle from the middle until it reaches the edges of the symbol. And when it reaches the edges, go two steps further, so one, two. Now color this circle yellow. And to get the background behind the symbol, simply just right click, go to arrange and go to send to back. And now to make the outer ring while having the yellow background selected, go to edit again, go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in back. Then while having the back circle selected, once again hold down the shift key and the alt key and expand the ring two steps. So one, two, and then simply just choose the black color. If you're also interested in how to draw a biohazard symbol, 
check out the video on the end card right now.